The next question is, why is it that if you are double vaxxed, you can still get COVID? We're seeing people who are double vaxxed, but who, because of their previous medical condition, haven't developed as much of an immune response to the vaccinations as in as under ordinary circumstances. And the reason is because many of these people are uh, immunocompromised. They have weak immune systems to start off with, or they're on medicines that purposely shut down their immune system because immune systems are the cause of many diseases out there. So many treatments say uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, those are diseases caused by overactive immune systems. So the treatment for those is to shut those immune systems down. And, and, and of course, if you give the vaccine to somebody, when their immune systems are shut down, they're not going to develop a sufficient immune response against the vaccine, and they're not going to develop sufficient protection. That is why Alberta is currently doing third dose booster shots for people with weakened immune systems to give them that extra protection that the rest of us have. And also aging. Aging, unfortunately, lowers the immune response. And the older a patient is, unfortunately, just the the, the weaker the immune response is to a, to a vaccine. So that's another reason why if somebody is fully vaccinated, they still can get infected. That's by and large the bulk of the reason why people who are fully vaccinated are still getting infected. But other other reasons, much rarer reasons, could be, you know, it just didn't take effect. Frankly, I don't think we need to worry about that too much. That I think the bulk of it is is just, uh, and I and I could be wrong, of course, but I think the bulk of it is just because people haven't had good immune um, response. And note that just because some people don't mount an effective immune response against the COVID vaccine doesn't mean the COVID vaccine doesn't work and that you shouldn't take it. Here's some summary data compiled by the US CDC that contains the most up-to-date information we have so far as of November 2021. The dominant strain of COVID at this time was the Delta variant, and you can see the effectiveness of the vaccines average over 60% against infection and over 80% against more serious outcomes like hospitalization and death. This is an excellent result given that scientists were saying that we'd be happy with a COVID vaccine even if it helped reduce COVID infections by 50%. So there you go. Don't let the fact that a few vaccinated people can still get COVID for rare and unlikely reasons sway your thinking in whether you should get the vaccine or not. Speak with your family doctor or other healthcare provider if you still have questions. Thanks, and see you in the next video.